celebrating 50 year, the 50 year anniversary. Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. We're shooting the nighttime two hour special of The Price is Right to celebrate our 50th anniversary of being on the air. Happy 50th. Happy 50th. Rachel Reynolds, everybody. I think one of the biggest things about Price is Right as far as its longevity is that it's uh, average people having a big day. What other game or sport or event can you think of where you want to play, you want to win, and if you don't get picked, you cheer for the other person? To watch people's faces win a new Porsche or a trip to Belize, it feels so good. Well, since it's a primetime special and we're celebrating such a big anniversary, 50 years here on The Price is Right, lots of big prizes, so many good clips and so many great clips of Bob, especially. You still have Just a lot of money. Why did Bob pull it? Those are real, unscripted moments, and those are just the best. I don't think that there's like another show that has the fan base. Watching and they're imagining that it's them there winning all those prizes and having all that fun. $25,000! A lot of people had this on their bucket list and they always wanted to come here. And it's just a positive, energetic place to be. If your day is great, it makes it better. And if you're having a rough day, it just takes your mind off things. That is, that's a special thing that Price is Right has that not a lot of other shows have ever had. Joining me now is host Drew Carey. Thanks for being here today. How are you? Good, great to be here. You know, in, it's, uh, in San Francisco, it's one of those shows also that, you know, you watched with your parents, you watched with your family, you know, you just kind of glance and catch all the fun games. And it's always resonated really well with the people. And it's has staying power, obviously, over 50 years. It's very cool. Yeah, it's crazy. Right. And I, I, I've been telling people, I think the secret sauce to the whole show is that it's all regular Americans. You know, just regular people that you would know from work or the neighborhood or something. There's like on any other like on other game shows or kind of competition shows, you have to be like really good looking or really smart or, you know, picked ahead of time with some big sob story, like something, you know, on Price is Right. It's just people that show up like, you know, if you show up in your line. That's what we have to pick from. And it's always just this great cross section of like blue collar and gray collar folks. And I think that's what makes the show so special is you get to see regular Americans having a great day. And it doesn't seem, it, it seems more authentic that way than like, oh, of course this show is just all the beautiful people competing and I could care less about those shows or, oh, you have to be smart to be on that show. You don't even have to be that smart to be on price. You have to know prices, but mm -hmm. we don't pick you by your because of your knowledge. We pick people this if they'll go bananas on on TV. Uh, we don't care if you know about pricing or not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but show. you're you to, right. You don't you're... have to pass it. You don't have to pass a pricing test to be on the prices right. You're, well, that's good to know. But, you know, as, as a mom, I do all the grocery shopping. The, I think that's why I like the show so much, because I can relate. And you're constantly talking at the TV, trying to help everyone out, all the fans and the, or the contestants, because yes. you're like, wait, no, yes. 1300 that's too high. That's too high. Go lower. And it's, it's a just, great it's a great yell at the TV show. That's for sure. <laughs> it really, really is. And I, am, I think about that. Honestly, I think about that all the time when I'm hosting. I always think about like, oh, man, I wonder how many people are screaming at the TV right now. Like people will do things like this happens more than you think. Like somebody will want a one dollar somebody. So the bill will be fourteen hundred. And then the next person, because I'll be a little nervous or something, will go thirteen ninety nine. And I'm not allowed to correct them or ask them what they wanted when I know they wanted fourteen oh one. Right. But they said thirteen ninety nine. And it happens way more often than you think. And I always think to myself, like, oh, there's probably people <laughs> throwing Cheerios at the TV right now or, like, you know, 
what? <laughs> it's true. And then you have a conversation like, who would ever pay that for a cell phone or a TV? I mean, it just really gets the conversation uh, going, too, which is kind during, of fun. During the breaks, uh, George Gray and I talked to the contestants in the audience, and that's our conversation, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know. That's actually good insight. Like we, uh, we, we talk just like fans. We're like we, we try to break down what went wrong if somebody lost and how cool it was if somebody won and then like if somebody lost something we'll go well who needed that anyway it's lousy <laughs> you know we try to downplay what they didn't get Aww. like you didn't want to go to france <laughs> yeah, of course not. No, not at all. But then they, you know, they've got chances too for the big wheel and so forth. So, you know, sometimes we yeah, don't yeah. always win. There's other opportunities on the show, which is what makes yeah. it a lot of fun as well. Tell us a little bit about how you are celebrating the 50th anniversary. We've got a primetime special plus a lot of fun happening during the Daily Show. Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm really here to plug this primetime special, which is pretty, fu pretty fun. You don't get to see something like this every day, which makes it worth tuning in for. First of all, we have a great episode of Price is Right, which normally takes an hour. But then we had to add another hour to this show because interspersed between the pricing games, we have all these amazing clips from 50 years on this show where where – like nutty things happen literally every day. And I think it was tough for everybody to pick out like the highlights over 50 years, but they did a really good job because there are some moments that are like classic all time moments, especially with Bob yeah. and where, you know, if you're a fan of the show, the woman that lost her tube top coming on down, like that's on the, sh that's in the taping, that's in the thing. But there's like, there's moments to me that are right up there with that. Uh, maybe not as embarrassing for the woman, but uh, they left out the 420 Bob guy. There was a guy that went up and bid 420 oh. all the time and Bob didn't know what he was doing. It's like, what's that? <laughs> I, didn't, yeah, I didn't know that. Like, <laughs> yeah, 420 Bob guy. He would look back at his friends and they would giggle and he would say 420 Bob and Bob's 420. And he did it a couple times and Bob was like, oh, he must really likes that number. And him and his friends were laughing. <laughs> That's it was pretty funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make the special. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you shared that with us at least. But there's a lot of other funny moments making the special, of course. And I was reading here that Chris O'Donnell is going to stop by on the show. Yeah, Chris O'Donnell, uh, handsome as ever, uh, is going to be on the show. And uh, I was very excited to, to, to say hi to him. And uh, then we have another very special guest besides Chris O'Donnell. Not that he's not very special, but we have another very special guest that I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed to say who it is. They don't want me to for some reason. Uh, it makes no sense to me that I'm not allowed to say this person's name, but uh, this is against my will. But I will tell you that it's somebody who was on the show as a contestant and then went on to uh, great fame. Oh, uh, like a like a household name fame wow. uh, but before pre-fame was a contestant on the show with bob and they show the clip of this person uh, on the show and they never got off contestants row by the way but they did get to come on down and play wow that's cool now i'm intrigued i'm gonna be googling all morning trying to figure who that is yeah figure it's, that out. it's not aaron it's not aaron paul aaron paul from breaking bad uh was famously on the prices right with bob uh and uh, I think he he didn't win his showcase. He just he got out. He lost by like just a few hundred dollars. But his roommate also got on the prices right and won a vacation. And they both went on the vacation. It's a pretty good story. But when he if you see the Aaron Paul clip on YouTube, it's all over the place. Uh, he's acting just like Jesse from Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's as if Jesse got called on down because it's just, it's the same thing. Wow, that is so <laughs> really cool. Funny. That is so cool. It's really funny. Drew, this has been a great conversation. Thank you for all the insight. We are actually looking really forward to the special, which airs Thursday night right here on KPIX. I could talk to you for at least 10 to 20 more minutes. So good luck with the show and congrats on all its <laughs> success. This is great. I love hearing all the insight. It's been fun. I could I could talk to you all night, too. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Drew. <laughs> I think this is my favorite interview ever now. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. Sure. <laughs>
Bye. See you. Bye.